Welcome to the Gurgle Gurgle Show. Episode 2. Today we got some cool stuff for you guys. We had the tier 13 pictures, well the ones they released, and some other stuff. We, we hope, hope you like it and enjoy the show. Gurgle Gurgle! gurgle. The school's out, work's over, take your face to Coffee Bean! I gotta get to Azeroth, you Luddites ain't stopping me! My equip's legit, look me up in the armory! We're at war, stupid buster, there's no peace or harmony! No one seems to get it! But that's oh. alright, my girl keeps whining, complaining, it's so- In the first show we didn't explain much about ourselves, so I guess there's the first time for everything. My end game name is Orgashi, I used to play a warrior, but after the first couple weeks of Kata, I quit. I didn't like the expansion that much, but I came back just recently with my friend, as you all know, Baby Joker. Plus, the people on my server weren't really the most, uh, I don't know how to say it, the most friendly people, so it wasn't a nice environment for me to play. I have a level 70 shaman, another 70 shaman, and a 70 death knight. At the moment, two level 80s spread across different servers, and an 82 warrior, which is on the same server as my paladin. My 80 druid is Restless Spec solely for PvP, and I ha and my paladin is Prot Ret, and my warrior is Fury Arms. My level 70 shaman and level 70 DK are on the same server. My enhancement elemental shaman, which is on a PvP server, is really spec for PvP, but I don't really do anything with them. My favorite class is the Warrior, but I really love Shamans. I love to tank and heal, and I'm okay at DPSing, which doesn't really make sense considering that to say DPSing is the easiest thing. I love to tank and heal, and it's basically the only thing I can do. Now, it's my turn. Dun dun dun. To start off, my end game name is Baby Joker. I have a couple other characters that I play too. My main tune is a level 70 Warrior, which is pretty fun. Leveling up so far, it's been the most fun to play, simply because they're the most OP when it comes to DPS. In your opinion, you fucking noob. Hey, it's my first time playing Warrior, jackass, so don't be hating. My other classes are a mage and a priest, all on the same server. My favorite class to play is a warrior, plus they look fucking epic. So up to date with WoW, we decided to see what new raid gear would be coming out in the new patch 4.3. This will also be a new segment of the show that we would like to call Hot or Not, where we'll be putting up some of the gear that will be coming out or has come out before, and you the viewers will be giving us your opinion on them, and whether or not you'd like to see them back in the game. First up is the new Mage Tier 13 gear, titled as the Time Lord Regalia. What are your opinions on the Mage gear? Well, I think it looks alright, except for the helm. I, I don't really agree with it. It looks kind of retarded. <laughs> It's like you got binoculars on your head, don't you think? Yeah, I don't know. I think it could be like some scuba diver astronaut thing. <laughs> I think he needs to get a makeover. The warrior has the right idea. <laughs> Second, we have the warlike gear known as the faceless shroud. To be honest, I think that I don't I I don't even know. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this gear set, but I think he needs to stay away from the voodoo, whoever created this. Like, I, think <laughs> I think they were under the influence. Well, I think it looks alright, just not so much the helm once again, because I don't like the fact that there are tentacles coming out of my face. If I were to play a warlock, I'd feel kind of freaked out, wouldn't you? Yeah, I don't know. It, it would seem like your face would do more of the attacking than your spells would. Not something I would exactly like on my body. Third is the Druid Deep Earth Vestments. My opinion on this one is, well, it looks alright. The shoulders look real nice on it, though. Uh, I'm not so much with leather, though. I mean, yeah, it looks good. Uh, I just don't really know what to say for this. Uh, a lot of detail to it, though. Lots of it. it. Looks like there's crystals coming out of it. What do you think? I don't know. I, it kind of seems like the druid took a tree and, like, like let it grow on the druid but I don't know I guess it, I guess it kind of fits the druids because druids are pretty nature like but I don't know the, I think the druids always get fucked over with the helmets because the, honestly I think it looks good besides the helmet and I the new cataclysm guy does not know how to make helmets and it's kind of like uh, burning crusade helmets when you only had like the bucket over your head and it looks retarded in my opinion fourth is the spirit walkers vestments for those shamans out there honestly I like this one it's alright it looks 
It looks pretty cool. The shoulders have like a dragon coming out of them. Yeah, I think it looks real nice, especially with their bone heads. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, the helmets are always the problem when it comes to the, the gear sets. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that one. But it, but what I also notice is it looks like there's some crystals or something coming out, like with the helmet or neck. If you look towards like right next to their necks or something, it looks like uh. I don't know, just some crystals, but I like the knives hanging off. I think that it's pretty cool, and it's kind of it's kind of like uh, I don't know. I'm, there's not really too much to say. <laughs> yeah, I never I never noticed uh, the crystals coming out by the side of his neck until until Baby Joker just uh, pointed that out. But it's actually pretty cool. Um, but I I still don't like the the helmet. It looks like a piece of cloth with some bones coming out of it that's definitely not male and finally we have the new warrior colossal dragon plate the tier 13 warrior gear it looks pretty epic uh... there's not a whole lot to really say about this one but there's a lot of detail to it and there's a lot of red <laughs> too much red i think if you had like a guild tabard that was like black and red you put that over the chest you'd be set to go mm -hmm. the, the shoulders kinda look like there's claws that are coming to grab you yeah, and then on the helm, once again, it, it, they're all right, but I just don't like the big jaw. It looks like you're about to get your head eat, like ate off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. They have a problem with their helmets for this tier set. Let's hope they make it up with like the paladins and stuff. That'd be really awesome to see. I have to agree, especially with the hunters, too. Yeah. After you guys have seen all of the tier 13 gear, the question is, hot or not? Leave your guys' answer in the comment section below. And thanks, as always, Gurgle Gurgle. Gurgle Gurgle. Definitely. Welcome to the Gurgle Gurgle Show. Episode 2. Today we got some cool stuff for you guys. We have the tier 13 pictures. Well, uh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> hey, you, you might want to back it up, jackass. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Sorry if we sounded really tired. We started at 2 and ended at 5, so it's been a project. Um... Thanks for watching. Subscribe, favorite, and like. Gurgle, gurgle. gurgle. <laughs> what I'm talking about. Legit shit. <laughs> <laughs>